Home Storm Team. Well, it sure is nice to be able to look at one of these live shots here and see so much green in June because last year, boy, I don't remember it uh, being green at all across uh, anywhere in western North Dakota. And I want to show you the accumulated rainfall. This is a radar estimate, so this isn't like in rain gauges, but it gives you a pretty good idea. I also want to point out that the farther you get away from a radar site, and the sites that we're using here would be Deering and uh, Bismarck, uh, it tends to be a little bit less accurate because the beam is pretty high up in the cloud. So areas along western North Dakota like this may not be as accurate as other areas. But look at those colors. Look at the legend up there. Pick an area that you're interested in, and it gives you a very good idea. This was a soaking rain yesterday, last night, and uh, even earlier this morning. Some spots getting over three inches. Rick Jensen at KHD Radio and Harvey let us know that uh, in Harvey last night, they got two inches of rain in 15 minutes. That is a del deluge. Wow. But you can see, uh, and maybe not so much down in the south central, but uh, that is a lot of rain. And here's that Harvey cam. Last night, it was shaking. A few showers right there, but nothing big going on. Temperature 60s to around 70 degrees. Wind is roughly uh, 10 to 20 miles an hour as an average. And in North Dakota, it's kind of a normal day, right? We have been getting some strong wind gusts, and actually, I think last hour during KX News of 5, we had a 38-mile-an-hour wind gust in Garrison, but it's still pretty blustery, and the wind really hasn't even picked up yet. But it is going to be windy tomorrow, and so if you don't get your, uh, if tomorrow's trash day, and you don't get the uh, trash can back in by uh, midday at the latest, uh, it's entirely possible it is going to end up in your neighbor's yard because we're going to be looking at 45, 50, even 55 mile an hour wind gust, and that would blow trash cans all over the place. So looking at our radar, so we have some very light rain moving through the area right now, a little bit in the southwest. I, I know that uh, the wind is really the big issue, and so here it is. Uh, tomorrow, wind advisory goes into effect at noon, and in eastern Montana at 6 o'clock mountain time uh, for the high wind warning. High wind warning is worse than a wind advisory. And so even in North Dakota, winds could be upwards of 55 miles an hour. So 7 o'clock tonight, still a few uh, sprinkles here or there. By the time you get up tomorrow morning, looks like uh, there could be a decent amount of cloud cover from place to place. Not a lot of rain during the day, but as we get throughout the afternoon, and you can see just little bits of green kind of flashing around up there. But notice this. Uh, so some of these storms could be small storms, non-severe, but you can see that by tomorrow night there easily could be uh, some more rain. So looking at the next 72 hours for Dickens, 60s, 70s, and then 80s, and uh, for Williston, kind of the same thing, uh, and wind is really going to be the big story. So looking at temperatures tonight, upper 40s to around 50, and then tomorrow we're going to be 60s to around 70, and then on Thursday, a little bit warmer, all these temperatures would be a little bit above average. So here it is, here's that seven day, if you're wondering how hot it's going to get, we're talking 90s, upper 90s, close to 100, and it would not be a surprise at all to have a uh, 100 degree reading here or there. I don't think it'll be widespread or anything, but certainly uh, can't rule that out. But overall, you can see how these temperatures are really going to ramp up. Don't see any big storms anytime soon, uh, compared to like last night, but it is going to start getting hot and plan for a very hot weekend. All right, Tom, very important to stay hydrated and try to keep cool. Thank you. Coming up next, you could.